वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टी टी एल नैन गेट विथ टू टेम्पल आउटपुट इन दिस वीडियो एंड हियर इन टी टी एल नैन गेट आई कंसिडर टू टेम्पल आउटपुट एंड देर आर सम स्पेसिफिक रीजन बिहाइंड दैट इफ यू सी माई लास्ट वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन स्टैंडर्ड टी टी एल सर्किट विद नैन गेट कन्फिगरेशन then in that i have already explained at output side when transistor t3 is on at that time pull up resistor value should be higher and when we have transistor off at that time pull up resistor value should be lower and as if it is having that variation in resistance then we can have ideal configuration of ttl logic circuit but as we were been having passive pull up resistor there were some disadvantages which was happening in that circuit so here we will be replacing that passive pull up resistor with totem pole output and by having that totem pole output we will be able to configure variable resistance at output side and that i'll explain you step by step in working of ttl nand gate with two temple output so let us have a circuit of ttl nand gate with two temple output first so here we have vcc supply and usually we keep vcc supply with 5 voltage and this ttl nand gate circuit that is configured in three sections first section is input section so in input section we have common base configuration of this transistor t1 and this rb1 is a biasing resistance and here we give input at terminal a b and c now second section that is phase splitter section so you can observe in phase splitter section we are having transistor t2 and biasing resistance rc2 and ra2 now in third section we have output section so you can observe this is our output section and here from this terminal we take output v0 so this is a basic circuit which is there with ttl nand gate with two temple output now see in two temple output if you observe we have transistor diode transistor connection and this connection is referred as two temple connection and if you see the basic difference with ttl standard circuit and this circuit then the only difference is here previously we were been having only passive pull up resistance right but that is what we have replaced by transistor diode connection and as earlier i have told we need to have lowering of resistance over here if this transistor is on and we need to have higher resistance in this network in this much network as if this t3 is on so how to have those things let us try to understand this by its working now in its working first of all what i'll do is i'll make this transistor t1 equivalent circuit in terms of diode so here you see this is a base terminal of t1 so i'm saying this is b1 terminal and this is base terminal of t2 so let us say this is b2 terminal and here we have input so here i'm making b1 terminal and if you see this is n p n transistor so this base emitter junction that is forming a diode so let me draw this diode equivalent and here we have input 
so this is base emitter junction diode now if you see this is again pn junction from b1 to b2 so that is also forming a diode configuration so this is base collector junction diode configuration and this is b2 terminal so this is equivalent circuit of this transistor t1 and here we are dealt with to have working of this circuit so for nand gate configuration let us have truth table and this is having input abc and my output is v0 so this is what the truth table that i'm going to explain you over here where my input will start from 0 0 and it will go up to 1 1 now let us see how this circuit is functioning with respect to these inputs so let us have first case and in that case if i say any of my input is active low so as if any of my input is active low means logic zero in that case you see here there is logic zero so this base emitter junction this base emitter junction that will come in forward bias and this base collector junction you see that will come in reverse bias so as this base emitter junction that will come in forward bias and this will come in reverse bias we can say this will get open circuited in between b1 and b2 right and this transistor t1 that will come in active region this transistor t1 that will come in active region now as this b1 and b2 that is open circuited with this transistor t2 there will be no triggering so because of there is no triggering this transistor t2 will be off and this transistor t3 that requires even a base triggering now you see t2 is off so this two terminal that is open circuited so that does not allow supply to be given at the base of t3 and as there is no base supply at t3 this t3 will be off even right now one should know the basic condition to have triggering of t2 and t3 see to have a triggering of t2 and t3 at this base terminal you see total voltage that should be see here base emitter junction and here base emitter junction is there so at base b2 there should be voltage that should be vbe 2 plus vbe 3 and that should be at least 0.7 plus 0.7 so 1.4 voltage that is required at b2 terminal to have triggering of t2 and t3 so in this situation t2 and t3 is off now as t2 and t3 is off let us see what happens with t4 so you see t2 is off so this vcc voltage now that will give triggering at the base of t4 and t4 will get on so as t4 is getting on you see our output v0 that will driven by vcc like this so if you want to calculate v v0 voltage then this v0 voltage that will be vcc minus icrc4 minus vce4 saturation minus vd and if you observe that that will be logic 1 so if any of our input is logic 0 our output should be having logic 1 so this outputs that will be there 
with logic 1 if any input is logic 0. Now let us consider a second case for working of this circuit. So in second case what if all the inputs are there with logic 1. If all the inputs that is provided with logic 1 you can observe this base emitter junction that comes in reverse bias. This base emitter junction that comes in reverse bias and this base collector junction that comes in forward bias. So as this base collector junction comes in forward bias you can observe this VCC supply that will give triggering here as this is there in forward bias and this is there in reverse bias so this will be open circuited. So this VCC that will draw a supply at base B2 this transistor T2 that will get turned on. So this is turned on as this is turned on this VCC supply that will draw supply at base of this T3 and T3 will get turned on. Now as this T3 is getting turned on we can say this flow of current that will happen through this T3 right. Now let us try to understand what will happen with this transistor T4. So see T4 triggering that is purely based on what is our base input and let us say this is transistor T4 so base terminal over here is B4. So base terminal B4 will justify whether this T4 is on or off. So we can observe you see this base B4 that is having voltage as per you see this loop as per this loop. So this B4 terminal that is having this voltage that is VCE2 plus this voltage which is VBE3. This is there in saturation region so this is 0 0.2 plus this is 0 0.7 so VB4 that is 0 0.9 for this particular case. Now what is the condition to have turned on T4? So see to have turned on T4 we need to have at least VBE4 plus VD voltage to have turning on of T4 and that is 0.7 plus diode turned on voltage 0.7 so 1.4 voltage but here this VB4 that is 0.9 which is lower than 1.4 this T4 that will stay in off state so this T4 is off. So you can observe this V0 voltage that will be happening as per VCE3 saturation voltage of this T3 you see and that is 0 0.2 so we can say that is logic 0. So our output is logic 0 in case of ABC is 111. So that is how our output is coming here and as earlier I have told when this T3 is off here resistance should be lower here we have lower resistance because of this T4 is on but when this T3 is on at that time here there should be higher resistance and that is happening as per T4 that is off right. So now we have replaced passive pull up resistor with totem pole circuit 
and that is improving our fan out as well as noise margin as per this to tempo output i hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestions based on that in future i'll be making videos and that will definitely help you to understand all the subjects related engineering